everybody and welcome back. We're out in the garden again today and we are going to be planting some more seeds. So we started a whole bunch of seeds in seed trays and I will show you guys that here in a minute. They are actually doing really well. We actually keep our seeds inside and we bring them back and forth every day. So in the evenings we put them inside and then in the mornings we bring them back out and that's just because our temperatures here right now are just a roller coaster ride and they are crazy. So like yesterday it was 80 degrees, but then last night it dropped down to 29. And so that's really hard on the seedlings. And so we kind of transition them in and out. So we'll bring them out in the daytime when it's about between 55 to 75. And then that's uh, kind of what we keep our temperature out in the house, anywhere between 65 and 75. So it's just kind of a more even keel uh, place for the seeds to grow. So we have those inside and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. But as far as our pool beds go, we're out here planting some seeds. So we have already done a pool bed of beets and radishes, so we have those in the ground. And now I'm gonna be adding some carrots into our bed that has the spinach. So I'm gonna try a little bit of companion planting this year. Um, I have never grown carrots in the pool garden beds before. Uh, I've grown them in the ground and carrots are always just like a guessing game. You never really know what you're gonna get. So we're gonna try them in the pool beds. They may not be as tall or as long as the ones in the store, but we're gonna give it a try. So we're gonna plant in this bed and then we're gonna plant in another of the bigger beds to see just kind of what we get. Um, so I'm gonna be companion planting with spinach in this bed and then I'm gonna do spinach and lettuce in the other bed. So I have just regular scarlet carrots that I picked up. Um, these are just the organic kind and I just picked them up at the local store. We're going to be spreading them about an inch apart. I'm gonna put about three seeds every inch or so and then as they start to grow, we'll thin them out. Um, carrots are also interesting too. They really have a really hard time germinating if they are not in complete darkness. So we're going to, after I plant them, we're gonna place a board over the top and then once they have germinated and started to sprout, we'll take that board off. So let's go ahead and get started with these carrots. So we have our carrots all finished and they're planted and we're just covering them up. So we just have a lot of like scrap wood around our house and so that's just kind of what I'm using to cover them up. And then as soon as the sprouts form, as soon as you can see those little green tops starting to come up, then you can take off the wooden pieces or whatever you're using to cover your carrots and then that way they can get some sunlight. All right, so it's time to plant the rest of our beets and then these icicle short top radishes, which I'm really excited about. I just thought they really looked cool. So I'm gonna do a row of radishes, a row of beets, and then a row of radishes. And these ones aren't going in the pool garden beds. These are just going in the beds that I have in the ground. And so um, that's our plan for now. And then I will take you guys inside and show you guys all of our seedlings and then a cute little project that we are doing with the boys for homeschool. It's that time of year when our kitchen table just kind of becomes a cluster of seedlings and everything like that. So um, it's the area that we have the most light in our house, the most natural light anyway. Um, we don't have grow lights or anything like that. So like I said, we just kind of bring them back and forth inside and outside. And our kitchen table just kind of becomes the seedling table in addition to all the other things that a family table is, right? So if you are a parent, you, you, know, you get what I'm saying on that one. Um, but almost everything has come up, so we're really excited about that. There's still a couple of little stragglers that had longer germination time, and so I'm sure those will be coming up here pretty quickly. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit iffy about is our petunia seeds. Uh, I know they're really hard to get started and grow, so we'll see kind of how that goes. And if not, we can pick some up from the store later on. But I wanted to show you guys these cute little cups that the boys are doing for their homeschool. So our boys are nine and six, and they were really excited about trying to grow things too. 
and I used to teach kindergarten and we would do this with our kindergartners when I taught and so what you do is you just take a little plastic cup and you let them kind of design a face and you put the face on there you fill up the plastic cup with dirt you put a little rocks at the bottom then fill it up with dirt and then you let them plant grass seed and then as the grass grows it looks like hair on their faces and so it's just kind of a cute little project we just started it yesterday so we don't have any hair yet but i will let you guys uh, know when we do um, but here's one of them i thought they turned out really cute and then here is the other one so even if you're not like a homeschooling family you guys could still do these cute little projects with your kiddos it might also be a cute idea to plant some flower seeds in there and then that would be a cute little mother's day gift you know anything like that but they turned out really cute so yeah that's what we have going on today but i'm gonna get busy getting started on some dinner and as always, you guys, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, everyone. Oh, there is a little sprout, isn't there? All right. Nice.